Good health to all from Rexall. It's the Phil Harris Alice Fay Show, presented by the makers of Rexall drug products and 10,000 independent Rexall family druggists. Good evening. This is your Rexall family druggist with a welcome from all 10,000 of us. The 10,000 independent druggists who have made the word Rexall part of our own store names. You know us by the orange and blue Rexall sign on our windows. But our best identification is that we recommend and sell the 2,000 or more drug products made by the Rexall Drug Company. These are the famous guaranteed products scientifically compounded to do a job for you. Like Plenamins, Rexall's popular multivitamin capsule. Two tiny plenamin capsules a day give you more than your daily minimum requirements of every vitamin for which such requirements have been established, plus valuable liver concentrate and iron. That's the kind of quality we family druggists are talking about when we tell you you can depend on any drug product that bears the name Rexall. Good health to all from Rexall. And now your Rexall family druggist brings you the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show, written by Ray Singer and Dick Chevrolet, with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, Robert North, Janine Roos, Anne Whitfield, Walter Sharp and his music, yours truly, Bill Foreman, and starring Alice Faye and Phil Harris. <laughs> Today is Mother's Day, and Phil has decided to make it a real holiday for Alice. And now as we look in, Phil and the children are surprising Alice by bringing her her breakfast in bed. Good morning, honey, and happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's happy Day, Happy Mother's mommy. Day, Mommy. Oh, thank you, girls. Good morning, Phil. Uh, Phil, what have you got on that tray? A surprise. I made your breakfast, and I'm going to serve it to you in bed. You made my breakfast? Yes, sir. And what a breakfast. It's real southern style. Orange juice, toast, ham hocks and eggs, hominy grits, black-eyed peas, candied yams, and turn of green. <laughs> Thank you, Jefferson Davis. <laughs> Girls, did Daddy make you eat a southern breakfast, too? Yeah, but he all shown sure up did. <laughs> you know something, Alice? You're going to love this food. Just wait till I take the napkin off the tray and show you a really appetizing sight. There. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, Phil. Aren't you overdoing this southern stuff a little? Black-eyed peas, hominy grits, turn... Wait a minute. What's this? Picture of Robert E. Lee. <laughs> Do I have to eat that, too? No, of course not That's your Mother's Day present from me And Mommy, there's a present on your tray from Phyllis and me Oh, oh what lovely handkerchief Thank you, children We also wrote a poem for you Daddy helped us Go ahead, Daddy, you read it Okay <clears throat> To you on Mother's Day Roses are red and violets are blue Dear old Mother, we love you <laughs> Though your brow is all furrowed and wrinkled with care, we love every thread in your graying hair. <laughs> graying hair? Please, I'm not finished. As you sit in your rocker close by the wall, your little gnarled hands are knitting a shawl. <laughs> gnarled hands? After all you've done, we want no other, and so we say thank you, Whistler's mother. <laughs> well, how'd you like that, Ma? Oh, mighty fine, Pa. If you'll hand me my teeth, I'll make a speech. <laughs> That's quite a poem, well, Phil. Well, I'm glad you like it, honey. Hey, I got another surprise for you. I'm going to make this a real Mother's Day for you. I'm going to do all the work around the house, and you're going to do nothing but lie there in bed all day. Oh, but honey, I don't want to lie in bed. Don't argue. <laughs> this is your day, and you're going to do it whether you want to or not. <laughs> Go ahead and eat your breakfast, and I'll go in and make the children's beds. You kids want to help me? You better leave them here to feed me. I don't know if I can lift the spoon with my gnarled hands. <laughs> okay, then I'll do it myself. I'll make up the beds, and then I'll vacuum the rugs. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must get to my beds. <laughs> It wasn't hard.
hard at all cleaning these rugs. This attachment on the vacuum made it a cinch. Well, Phil, how are you doing? Oh, wonderful. I just vacuumed these rugs and look at the way they shine. Shine? Oh, Phil, you used the wrong attachment. You waxed my rug. <laughs> Well, it'll preserve the nap over the summer <laughs> Hey, and I made the beds I know I just remade them You're a fine-looking mess What have you got on your head? A dust cap? <laughs> How do I look? Oh, adorable You look simply scrumptious In your dust cap, apron, and high button shoes <laughs> Maybe you'd better let me take Hey, wait a minute That's the door I'll answer Oh, it. you're not going to the door Dressed like that, are you? I look okay Oh, hello, Frankie well, if it ain't John's other wife <laughs> All right, cut out the comedy I'm just dressed like this to help Alice You look fetching All right, I said <laughs> What are you doing here, anyway? I came over to put the lug on you I need some dough Nah, 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 <laughs> nah, nah, you don't You ain't getting any more money out of me It ain't for me, Curly See, today's Mother's Day I need the dough to make a long-distance call to my mother Oh Oh, well, that's different that's, that's a nice gesture Yeah She's a swell old lady She's out of this world, Curly I know how you feel You want to know something, Frankie? If you want to call her, I'll gladly lend you the money How much do you need? $500 $500? How far out of this world is she? Where does she live, on Mars? Oh, don't be ridiculous Mother lives in Tibet <laughs> She's a high llama <laughs> Now, it costs money to call oh, her Oh, stop with that, Remley If you wanted the I'm money I'm getting close to lunchtime and I... Oh, hello, Frankie Hi, Alice Happy Mother's Day You having a nice day? Oh, wonderful Phil has taken over the household duties for the day He made my breakfast and I got some lovely presents Oh, really? What'd you get? Uh, the children gave me some beautiful handkerchiefs What'd Curly give you? Robert E. Lee and Heartburn <laughs> Why don't you come on in and make yourself at home, Frankie? I have to go in and do the breakfast dishes Ah, uh, no, no, you don't, Alice Frankie and me will do the dishes, won't we, Frankie? No <laughs> I ain't gonna wash no dishes I'm liable to get dishpan hands And then I wouldn't be able to play the guitar The way you play the guitar You could do it with your feet And nobody could tell the difference <laughs> Now come on I'll wash them and you dry I don't want to go Oh anywhere. stop grumbling Will you always grumbling grumbling Now if you're sweet I'll sing to you What do you want to hear? That don't make no difference the way you sing, everything sounds the same. <laughs> people brag, people boast, and consistently drink a toast to a place that a lot of them place at the top of the list. Are they wrong? Are they right? Is there reason for their delight? I must live in doubt. Till the day that I find out, is it true what they say about Dixie? Does that sun really shine all the time? Do the sweet magnolias blossom round everybody's door? Do folks keep eating possum till they can't eat no more? Is it true what they say about swanee? Is a dream by that stream so sublime? Do they laugh? Do they love like they say in every song? If it's true, that's where I belong. If you like a sweet magnolia lane and gals as sweet as sugar cane, then hop the nearest choo-choo train. It's all aboard for Dixie. If you like to hear that southern drawl and them gals who say I loves you all, then there ain't no need for you to stall. Just get on down to Dixie. I'm going to pack my shoes and walk and stick, my cotton shirts and my banjo pick. If you need me, you can reach me quick, away down south in Dixie, cause it's true what they say about Dixie. Uh-huh, that sun really shines all the time. And the folks are really living where old man river flows. They live on watermelon and honeysuckle roads. Yes, it's true what they say about Swanee. You can dream by that stream so sublime. 
do they laugh, do they love Across the Mason-Dixon line Yes, it's true And it's mine, all oh, Now, there you are, Frankie The dishes are all done It was a cinch You know something? I don't know why women Make such a fuss About doing the dishes Me neither Well, now that we got them All washed and dried What do we do with them? <laughs> Let's glue them together And put them away <laughs> I think it'd be easier If we just swept them Under the sink <laughs> You know, Curly We broke quite a few of these I don't know if Alice Well, how are you fellas Coming along with the dishes? I... Oh, no My good china Phil, please stop. You're behaving like a berserk bull weevil. <laughs> if you really want to make this a happy Mother's Day for me, forget the housework. It just take me out to dinner tonight, huh? But, honey, I was... Uh, uh, please. I'll go call Chilius and make reservations at the Brown Derby. Oh, all right. Oh, gee whiz, Frankie. Hmm? Alice is spoiling my whole Mother's Day. <laughs> I wanted to do everything for her, but it ain't working out that way. Mm. Gee whiz, I wish I could think of something, something that, that she'd really appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Curly, I got it. Huh? If you want to do something big, something that she'll appreciate, don't take her out to dinner. <laughs> what do you mean? Stay home and we'll cook the dinner. <laughs> Oh, sure, she'd love an old-fashioned southern cooked meal and that... No, no, she had it for breakfast and I don't think her little Yankee stomach could stand another corn. <laughs> well, and don't make it southern. Make her a real fancy meal like you get in a high-class French restaurant. Oh, yeah, Alice loves to go to them French restaurants. Sure. Yeah, she loves that French food. But I, I don't know nothing about that kind of cooking. I do. Yeah? Sure. Between us, we'll cook her the best French meal she ever had. Where's Alice's cookbook? Well, it's up there in the cupboard next to the stove. Okay, but... let's get it. Wait a minute. Hey, Frankie. Hmm? Are you sure you know what you're doing? You know, <laughs> you, know you can kill people this way. <laughs> Stop worrying. I'm a great French chef and a connoisseur of good food. I can t Hey, Alice already has something cooking on the stove. I must say it smells delicious. It does, huh? Yeah. I know good food when I smell it. Mmm. What she got cooking in that big pot? The laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you're going to be a big help, Francois, the chef. You're going to be great. All right, I'll do all right. Oh, right, here's the cookbook. I'll just turn to the chapter on French dishes. Mm. Here it is. Hey, here's something that sounds good. Yeah? Boulebets avec poison de la mer. <laughs> How'd you like that? I'd rather have the laundry. <laughs> what is that thing? How do you make it? You don't know how to make boulebets? <laughs> you do? Well, it's simple. You get a couple of good, juicy bulls and you bathe them. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds great, Remley, but I don't think we can do it. Why not? We ain't got a bull in the house. <laughs> Someone's a bad housekeeper. All right. <laughs> Give me that book, Remley. Let me have a look at it. Mm. Let's see now. Let's see. Hey. Hmm? Hey, look here. Here's something that sounds good. Boof a la Versailles. <laughs> Let me see. Hey, we got all the ingredients we need to make that. Yeah, well, let's get started. Okay. Pass me a Versailles. <laughs> Curly, Versailles is a French city. Oh. Well, how about this boof? Is that a city, too? <laughs> of course not. A boof is a female bull. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,
Well, don't you think this room's a little too small to cook a bull in? <laughs> look, maybe we'd better look for another animal, something we're familiar with. Hey, look here. What's that? Here's something right here at the bottom of the page we know about, turkey. Hey, look, they tell you several, several different ways here to serve it. We can have turkey glace, turkey de lions, and turkey tour on the page. <laughs> That's turn the page. <laughs> Padre. <laughs> oh, Maurice. <laughs> now, don't bother looking any further, Curly. During my many years of experience as a French chef, I have found there's only one way to serve turkey, and that is turkey de la chanson à la mort. How's that? Dead. <laughs> oh, uh, tapped out turkey. <laughs> Yeah, Alice will love turkey the way I prepare it. I'll get started right away, and I'll have it ready in no time. It'll be a rich golden brown stuffed with chestnut dressing and oozing with delicious gravy. I can see it on the table now, can't you? No. <laughs> What's the matter? Ain't you got no imagination? I ain't got no turkey. <laughs> that might slow me down a little. Well, we can't buy one at the market. It's closed today. Hey, wait a minute. There's a turkey ranch here at Encino. I know the owner. I'll call him and tell him to send one over. Okay, Frankie, look. Hmm? Now, tell him to send the biggest bird he's got. Then I'll invite Alice's family over to dinner, and then you can stay, too. Okay, Curly, I'll call him right away. You better go in and keep Alice away from the kitchen so we can surprise Don't her. Don't worry. I'll keep her occupied. <laughs> Let's go on, sing that once more Oh, but Phil, I've already sung it for you eight times Why do I have to sing it again? It fascinates me to watch your epiglottis knock against your tonsils <laughs> No, go ahead, honey, sing it once again, will you, for me? All right The first time he's ever asked me to do this You were meant for me I was meant for you When she was done, you were all the sweet things rolled into one. You're like a plaintive melody that never lets me free. For I'm content, the angels must have sent you, and they meant you just for a plaintive melody that never lets me free for I'm content the angels must have sent you and they meant you just I really sent over a big turkey. Never seen one so big before. But if we're having a lot of people for dinner, hey, I guess... Hey, Frankie, did the guy bring the turkey yet? Yep. Oh, good. Is it a big bird? Medium size. <laughs> How much does it weigh? 54 pounds. <laughs> Fifty-four 
54 pounds. I got to see that thing. Where is it? Right there on the floor. <laughs> Holy smoke. Why did you order anything that size? It looks like an ostrich. Oh, you're exaggerating. It ain't that big. It ain't. Put a hostess on it and it'll look like a DC-6. <laughs> look, Curly, it's all we got and we'll have to use it. It's already dressed. All we got to do is pick it up off the floor and put it in the oven. Put some slacks on it. <laughs> look, Frankie, I don't think you ought to put... House, I just dropped into... Hey, what's that dead horse doing on the camera? <laughs> it's not a horse, Julius. It's a turkey. This is a turkey. <laughs> That's the biggest beast I've ever seen. All right, all right. Ain't nobody asking you. Now, come on, Frankie. Let's put it in the oven. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a minute. Before we do, is there any stuffing in this bird? I don't know. The guy said it was dressed, so I guess that means there's stuffing in it. Yeah, but how can we be sure? Why don't one of you just crawl in and see? <laughs> I wonder how stuffing a la Julius would taste <laughs> Come on, Curly, we better get this bird cooking Help me carry it over to the oven Are you kidding, Hastings? <laughs> Thing's too heavy to carry You couldn't carry that Maybe we can roll it over No, we might break the legs off Maybe we can wax the floor and slide it over <laughs> You put a saddle on it and ride it on. <laughs> I wonder where a guy goes to get shots against this kid. <laughs> Stop yapping, Julius, and help us. That's what you can do. Now the three of us ought to be able to lift it. Frankie, you open the oven door. Okay. Get it open. Now, Julius, you grab the front end, and Frankie and me will grab the back end. Are you ready, man? Yeah. All right, lift. Yeah. Hey, let's get this thing in in a hurry It's heavy All right, we'll rush it in And close the oven door fast So it don't jump out again Come on, Julius Back up fast Back up <laughs> We got it in, Curly Hey, you guys Let me out of here <laughs> Holy smoke We shoved Julius in by mistake The turkey's still lying on the floor <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> do, um... You think we can, uh, get away with it, Hansel? <laughs> Worth a try, Gretel. <laughs> Okay, turn it up to 500 and see what happens. Let me out of here! Let me out of here! Oh, he's squawking, Frankie. You might better let him out. Open All the right. door. All right, kid. Climb on out. <laughs> what are you, a couple of wise guys or something? What are you kicking about? You got a nice tan in there. Well, beat it. Get out of here. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, Frankie. Let's you and me lift that turkey. Yeah. All right, together now. One, two, three. Here. All right. Now I'll turn the gas on and let it cook. This bird looks kind of tough. Might take a little longer than usual Well, in that case, you turn the oven up as high as it'll go Hey, wait a minute, Remley What? You know something? With this turkey, we ought to have some kind of a salad with dinner Ah, leave that to me, Curly I'll make you a nice tossed green salad Okay, now mix it good In the meantime, I'll go up and tell Alice what we're doing <laughs> It's 8 o'clock already and I'm starved When do you think that kangaroo will be done? <laughs> he said it would be ready at 6 Well, it's a little tougher than we thought You tested it at 6 and it was still hard Why don't you try it again, Alice? All right Well, how's it coming, honey? 
The turkey's still hot, but the oven's getting soft. <laughs> oh, Phil, I can't wait any longer for dinner. Hey, why don't we have the salad I made while we're waiting? I made a wonderful tossed green salad, mixed to a turn. Mmm, sounds good. Where is it? It's still in the Bendix. <laughs> You mixed it in my Bendix? Sure Not only tossed the salad It washed the lettuce At the same time Now that's the last straw We're going out to dinner We are not This is Mother's Day It's your day And you're going to do as I say Now we're not going out to dinner And that's final There, now, was this a delicious turkey dinner or wasn't it? Oh, it sure was, Curly. The best turkey dinner I ever had. How'd you like it, Alice? Well, I must admit it was wonderful. Certainly was. You guys want anything else? Oh, no, thanks. I couldn't eat another thing. Oh, me neither. Now, let's get away from the table, huh? All right. Hey, waiter, bring me the check, please. <laughs> Alice and Phil will be back in just a moment. But first, here's your Rexall family druggist. Next week is National First Aid Week. Seven days when the National Association of Retail Druggists call your attention to the great need of proper first aid knowledge and first aid necessities that so often save lives. We are indeed proud tonight to salute the Retail Druggist of America as well as the 10,000 independent Rexall family druggists who are thus serving the communities and homes of this country. Next week, drop in on the Rexall family druggist in your town or neighborhood. He'll be glad to tell you the essential first aid items you should always have on hand. What's more, he carries Rexall's complete first aid line. Everything from sterile cotton and handy gauze pads to the proper antiseptics, surgical powder, burn remedies, plus certain Rexall exclusives like Rexall's marvelous new ProCap adhesive tape and Rexall quick bands. He'll also be glad to show you Rexall's specially designed first aid kits, priced at 98 cents to $2.10. Look for these products wherever you see the orange and blue Rexall sign on the window. Because when accidents do happen, it's good to know you can depend on any drug product that bears the name Rexall. Good health to all from Rexall. <laughs> Folks, this is Phil again. Tomorrow, Jack Benny and I leave by chartered TWA Constellation to play 21 cities with our big two-hour stage show. You'll see Jackson, Rochester, beautiful Vivian Blaine, and my whole band, and many wonderful extra acts, all in person. We open in Wichita, Kansas, this Tuesday, Wednesday in Kansas City, Thursday in Des Moines, Friday in St. Paul, this Saturday in Moline, Illinois, and next Sunday in Milwaukee. Tickets are on sale now, and it's really a wonderful show, and we want you all to be there. Join us again on the air next Sunday. Thanks, and good night. Good night, everybody. This program was produced and directed by Paul Phillips. Next time you buy Milk of Magnesia, remember that Rexall Milk of Magnesia is the one almost completely free of that unpleasant earthy taste. Yes, due to the purity of its ingredients... The scientific care used in its manufacture, Rexall Milk of Magnesia is so mild, so light and fluffy, so creamy smooth that even children can taste the difference. Ask for Rexall Milk of Magnesia wherever you see the orange and blue Rexall sign on the window. And remember, you can depend on any drug product that bears the name Rexall. Next, Sam Spade, then Paulette Goddard and Theater Guild on NBC.